This is Kathy from Gadget Shop 321. In today's video, I'm going to be taking a look at Noodler's Kung to Chin. I'm going to test it in a variety of nib sizes ranging from an extra fine to a 1.5 stub. And I'm going to begin with my Pilot 78G with an extra fine stainless steel nib. All right. Now, I've just finished up my first batch of ink samples and this is the first of my newest batch that I received. Let's see. This is the first Noodler's ink I've ever tried. And so far so good. It feels really nice in this extra fine nib. Very usable. I would I would use this for note taking. Nice. Now, this ink really sticks to the nib. And I recently watched a video on the YouTube channel Pen Outpost and Mike mentioned that he does his writing samples with a glass dip pen and he mentioned that if he doesn't wash off the dip pen immediately while the ink is still wet, uh, if it dries on the nib he has to use a toothbrush to wash it off and that was my experience too. When this ink dries on the nib it's like a layer of paint. Okay, next I've got my Sailor Pro Gear Slim with a fine nib. A little bit of a hard start there. About the same smoothness as that Pilot Extra Fine. Very usable. I would consider this nice. This is a really nice saturated ink. It's kind of a bluish purple. It looks almost like a denim, like a blue jean material. Next I've got my uh, Platinum 3776 with a medium nib. I made sure that I wipe the nib down because I do I dip the nibs to do these writing samples. I made sure that I wipe them off. Mm. I wonder if that was me just holding the pen at a weird angle. Got a little bit of a skip there. This feels, this ink feels really smooth on the paper. It feels, you know, it's a pretty viscous ink. Now this is not glassy smooth. This uh, Platinum has a little bit of feedback to it. Not scratchy at all. It's just a little bit of friction between the nib and the paper. Just, just enough resistance that I like it. It gives me some control and I just wanted to show you how this ink sticks to the side. Let me turn it this way. See how it sticks to the side of the um, vial. It sticks to the nib like that also. All right. This is a uh, Caveco Percao with a medium nib. Are you bringing me a smoothie? I'm taping. I love you too. My daughter just brought me a homemade smoothie. She's been spoiling me this summer. And this Percao has about the same amount of feedback as the 
3776. It's nice. This is a little bit wider than I prefer for an ink that's this bold, but that's just a, a personal preference. You know, the writing experience on the paper is very nice. Next, I've got a Pilot Metropolitan with a um, Cursive Medium nib, and you can see how I didn't get all of it wiped off, how it sticks to the nib. And let's see. I really like this ink in this in the this cursive medium nib. It's really smooth. It's just very pleasant to write with. Even though it's a wider nib. It's enjoyable. I've um gone through, I've cleaned some, uh, I've done writing samples with these pens and I've cleaned them out um, and when the ink dries on the nib like this, uh, you can't just run it under water and it wash it off. You have to like actually scrub it off and in fact I had to use my fingernail in some places to scratch the ink off. So that might from the pin out post mentioned that that's a one of the complaints people have about this ink but it is a very nice ink to write with this is a nemesine singularity with a 0.6 stub nib and this is very smooth This is so smooth that this is the kind of smoothness that some people don't like because you just don't have the control. Sometimes it makes your handwriting worse. I actually, I prefer the Metropolitan in this case. And finally, I've got a Jin Hao X750 with a 1.5 stub nib. And this is just very satisfying. It's like writing with a paintbrush. Okay. I'm going to let that dry, which it may not take that long. I think this is a pretty quick drying ink. I'm going to take a look at some of the other writing samples that I've done on my ARC notebook paper. You can see where I spilled the vial of Ferris Wheel Press blue cotton candy. Oh, that ink. But the extra fine was really nice. So it's nice on good fountain pen paper and this not as good quality paper. Now, you see again, my sailor I had some issues with a hard start here. I don't know if it's because this ink is so thick, and even as I wrote, uh, the, the nib just kind of dragged across the paper. Not scratchy, but it was just drag. Here, on the Tomoe River paper, once the pen got started, it was nice, but mm, not so much on this arc paper. On the platinum, I had nice and I was going to write smooth, but then I decided uh, I would. It was, it was nice. There was some feedback there, and with it being so wet, there's a little. You start noticing the spread. It's quite a bit wider than the others. That's just because the ink is spreading so much. The percale was nice and it was pretty smooth. The Metropolitan was smooth, and the Nemesine, again, was very smooth. Now, you see a little, just the beginnings of some feathering. This ink wanted to kind of spread. It didn't feather too bad in the others, but it tends to bleed through. This is a pretty, my inks don't typically bleed through 
this arc paper. The only one is like the 1.5 stub nib, but you see almost all of them bled through to some degree. So that is something to keep in mind. On the Rhodia paper, let's go ahead. The stub nib bled through and some of the others were starting to bleed through as well. So um, the extra fine was nice again, exclamation point. The Pro Gear Slim, I didn't put nice and I didn't put anything bad about it. It was just eh, a so-so writing experience. The Platinum was nice. You see it writes pretty broad, though about like the Percao. The Metropolitan, I put a heart beside it. It was my favorite. It was just a joy to write with. Uh, that stub nib was really satisfying. I just had some notes here that I wanted to mention that this ink does stick to the nib and dries really fast if you don't wipe it off. Um, it tends, this ink spreads on poor quality paper and tends to bleed through. Actually, it it bleeds through on even some good quality paper. Um, there's not a lot of feathering, so that adds to the, you know, the pleasantness of writing with this. And I'm having some skips in some pens. My sailor is skipping a little bit. Let's see, on my 20 pound copy paper, let's go ahead and look at, bleeds through a lot. And the extra fine was nice. This is, a, this is an ink that I can see myself putting in this Pilot Extra Fine and just using it in it exclusively. Since it's a little bit difficult to clean, just keep this ink in that extra fine. It made that a very, pleasant pen to use. Um, I'm having flow problems with my Sailor Pro Gear Slim. The Platinum just, it was nice, but it just put down a little bit too much ink. The Percao, I was having some flow problems. But again, the Pilot Metropolitan was my favorite to write with. Um, and the stub nib, you can kind of see where it spread, and I had a little skip there. Again, I think maybe the viscosity of this ink has something to do with that because it's not a dry ink. It's, it's a nice, flowy, pleasant ink to use. Now this ink, there's nothing exception. There's no, I don't want to say there's nothing exceptional about it, but there's no uh, interesting aspects to it. It doesn't sheen. There's not much shading to it. Uh, no sparkles in it. It's just, it's like a workhorse ink. And um, I, it was a pleasure to write with. It's one of those inks that you get it in the pen and you just want to keep writing if you get it in the right pen. So, all right. If you found this video helpful, please give me a thumbs up. And if you'd like to see more videos like this, please subscribe to my channel.